Meteorologist Joe Hansel with a over the hump Wednesday check. Your national severe weather threats had a lot of record highs, uh, basically along the south, southeast, and western coastlines of the United States yesterday. San Francisco, 74. Jacksonville, 85. Naples, Florida, near 90. Officially at 89 yesterday. And you'll still have plenty of mid 80s to go around at least in the peninsula, 84 in Miami. On the flip side, though, most of the nation is cold. We even have wind chill advisories and wind chill warnings for many counties in the north central portion of the U.S. basically late this afternoon through Thursday morning. Arctic front is powering south of Canada already. That's rustling up some strong winds and areas of heavy snow in the upper Midwest and system to the south will bring in heavy rain, potentially flooding and also snow in areas of the Great Plains today. Severe weather speaking of today from New Orleans to Nashville. Marginal to slight risk is out for damaging winds and potentially a couple of tornadoes. Thursday, a marginal risk is out as well as we wrap up this front tomorrow. Cities though like Atlanta and Raleigh have to watch out for that potential of severe storms on Thursday. From Little Rock, Arkansas, over an inch, one to two inches, locally higher amounts still possible through Thursday. In areas of the Ohio and Tennessee River Valleys, still prompting widespread flash flood watches in those dark green shades. Memphis and Nashville, right in the middle of that. Always important to never drive in any flooded roadways. For snow, Wichita Kansas City, one to two inches possible today. We'll have that front to the north, low pressure to the south merge, and cities like Chicago, Indianapolis, Detroit will be sandwiched in between probably three to six inches of snow generally for Chicago, Detroit, the Cleveland area. Blizzard warnings are out for areas of the Dakota and Dakotas and Minnesota state line. Winter weather advisory stretch through New England for basically three to six inches plus of snow late this afternoon through the day into Thursday. So notice that front to the north, system to the south, notice as they merge together, that could intensify some snowfall rates for spots of the southern Great Lakes into New England later in the day tomorrow.